I just wanted to make this episode to start it off right and give pay homage to one of the greatest basketball players we are witnessing. Yes, he's not LeBron James. No, he's not Kobe Bryant. No, he's not Michael Jordan. He's not Wilt or Kareem. But for the position and the skill set that he brings to the table, he is by far the best. And he's not just a shooter. The man can dribble. The man can finish at the rim. The man is a great free throw percentage shooter. The man is a great teammate, a facilitator. And he can rebound. I mean, he's not the greatest point guard rebounder. He's not the greatest passer. But he is such a well-packaged and well-balanced player that his shooting overlooks everything else. Everybody always knows Steph for shooting. But he gets players involved, and he is one hell of a fucking basketball player overall. And I think people need to give this man a lot more respect than he's given because when he was out last year and he struggled at the beginning of this year, bro, people came for his neck and said he'll never be the same. He's washed. He needs clay. He needs KD. And we are talking – we are more than three-quarters of the way done with the year, and he is gears in basketball. The season, and he's just cooking. And just like Kyle said, Chef Curry is back with a vengeance. He's chasing an MVP, which doesn't matter to him. But to all of us watching, the, 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 the pace he's on, obviously we have other candidates that we've talked about a multitude of times. I'm not going to get into that. But we're just saying, like, he is making a name for himself and making a case like, yo, I'm fucking here. I may not get it, but I'm, I'm, I'm pushing for this shit. And I think that Steph Curry definitely – he deserves rightfully at least a few votes for that award, man, because he is – He's cooking right now, and there's no other word for it. When you're averaging damn near 40 in a month, and like the lowest point total is like 31 in that stretch, you're talking about Kobe esque numbers. I know Kobe had a bunch of stretches where he just dominated every game that he played. I, like I remember there was like a stretch where he Kobe had like a 10 game stretch where he averaged like damn near like 45 points a game. Like it was just. Ridiculous. I know he had the 60, uh, the 60, 60, Five. and then the 50, 50. Like he, like he had more than 50 points in four straight games. Now, Steph's not doing that, but Steph's damn near close to it. And they need it. Golden State needs his production because if they don't get it from him on a consistent basis, they're not going to make the playoffs. I, it's like I said, I mentioned it the other day. He had to average somewhere in between 35 to 40 points a game to get drag this team, this Golden State team, to the playoffs. And he's doing a great job of it so far. It's just, can he continue this? He's more than capable of doing it. And as long as he is not playing in excess of minutes, and I think Steve Kerr is actually doing a pretty good job with managing his minutes, I don't really see him slowing down that much. It's like it's like we've said before, though. Like This is Steph Curry. Steph Curry is probably the most impactful player of this generation simply just because of how he revolutionized the three-point shot and how it's just become the one of the biggest staples in the offensive side of basketball. You need to have shooters that can consistently knock down these three-point shots. Steph started that, and he is just continuing that evolution of the game in these huge stretches where he's just going out and dominating everybody. Granted, I know Golden State's not the best team, but it ain't because of Steph. Steph's going out here and sure just... Sure as shit, no way. Steph is going out here and doing everything that he humanly possibly can do to get this team to the playoffs. Granted, we still got a month left until the playoffs. Is it Can he solely carry this team to it? Golden I'd State I'd say maybe. One yes. game behind the eighth seed. Behind Memphis. They got a month. They got a month to take uh, Memphis. Yeah, they could get that. Yes. Yeah, they could get that. Bro, I forgot to mention to everybody in the audience, Steph scored, Steph scored 42 and three quarters. Steve Kerr pulled him in yeah. the fourth. Yeah. So let that be noted. That's another 12 minutes. He could have had 50 back-to-back nights. And the Warriors are up by, I want to say, another 14, 15 points against Cleveland in Cleveland, and it's like five minutes left. So Steph could have scored 50 in back-to-back games and for sure had another 30-point game. But like Kyle just said, Kerr is giving him – Kerr is doing a very good job at managing his minutes and his load because if if Steph overplays, we do know that with that tailbone injury that he sustained this season and his previous injury history with the ankles, there's no reason to overwork 
the soul and it, it, the soul and entire being of your whole team right now. And I'm telling you that that, yeah. that coach player tandem, that relationship is one we haven't seen in a very, very long time. The fact that he's shooting 56% of the field with him shooting the volume of shots that he's taking, mind you, he's shooting like 20, 25 shots a game. And he's still that efficient. Granted, I know he didn't, he's not having the best night as far as three Tonight, point shooting no, goes no. against Cleveland. But when you look at some of these three, the last three to four games, I think he knocked down like 27 threes in the last three games. Like it's the most in like NBA history in like a three game stretch. Like this is ridiculous. Yeah, he, he, he broke that. That was like, his own record. He's ridiculous. Like, I don't want to say we'll never see this again. Cause I think you'll see kind of similar players in the future kind of do something similar to what Steph's doing right now. It's just that Trey Young is the closest in the it, next generation. It, it's just the frequency at what is happening here and how Steph is doing it. It's just, it's unmatched. And it's going to be a I, very long time before we see really anybody do the things that he's doing. I, I, like I said, I think Trey Young is the closest we're going to get because of the volume of shots that Trey puts up a game as well and his ability to shoot and his ball handling skills. Again, he is also an undersized guard, but he is shorter than Steph and plays in Atlanta. Um, anyway. Um, another stat for our, our stat people that love to watch Steph Curry leads NBA history with most games with 10 or more three point shots made with 19. His the closest person is Clay with five. It's not, that's not a gap, dude. That's an ocean. He's made 10 or more threes in a game 19 times. I've, I've, Bro, can someone just give him a fucking gold jet? Put him in the Hall of Fame now. Like, right the fuck now. It's, we're watching history. He, again, I'm not saying he's the greatest player of all time by any means, so please, nobody get this misinterpreted for that. But what he's doing is, is, is once in a lifetime, bro. This man is just shooting the lights out and doing it in a clip that is, like Kyle said a multitude of times, at a Kobe Bryant level. And I'm going to leave it at that because I'm just going to continue to repeat myself because this man, it, it, he missed the whole season last year to a broken hand, and he's coming this season and say, yo, bro, don't forget who you, the fuck I am. You look, you sound like a Warriors fan right now, my guy. I know bro, you're a Mavericks I fan. Hate, I, I, I hate playing against him because, like I said a few weeks ago, that man dropped like 56 on my head. Thankfully, we still won. But it's like <laughs> watching him and then when my, my team plays against him, obviously I always cheer for my boys. But, like, bro, when I watch him, he's just one of those players you want to cheer for. To me, I know a lot of people hate him and find him arrogant. They hate the fact that he shoots, turns around, he shimmies and shit. Well, bro, there's, to, in my opinion, there's so many more arrogant players in this league and cocky and fucking like James Harden and Kevin Durant. Like, people just have that show, but LeBron James, they just have that, that moxie, that fucking face, like – Bro, I'm the fucking best. Like, bro, Steph is just shooting a shot. If he misses, he misses. Like, he's just that confident because he's the greatest shooter of all time that when he shoots, he feels like it's going to go in every time. I don't fucking care if you shimmy on the sideline, world. We get fucking up 16. Celebrate. People act like – people are so soft nowadays. They act like other NBA players don't do worse. They don't bang on their chest. They don't fucking do the fucking press the floor. That Like, man – we're talking about a shooter versus a million other players in this league that do so much worse. I love this guy. I love watching him. Like you said, must see basketball when the Warriors play. If, if these players got a problem with him doing all the little shenanigans or the little little shimmies whenever he does it, go try to stop him. You got a problem That's with it, saying. stop him. That's lock what I'm saying. Him. You're not, I don't know if you're going to be able to lock him up or lock him down, but put somebody on him that can at least stand a chance against him, for God's sakes. Last point, he if, if people like you said, I'm just rolling off of what you said. If people got such a problem with him, if people don't like him, and you can't guard him, and the little things that he's doing, the little antics, what are we gonna do? We're we gonna continue to hate somebody that's literally unguardable. Do we hate Braun when he dunks on somebody? Do do we hate Damian Lillard when he pulls from the logo? Do we hate Luka Doncic and James Harden when they do their step backs? Did we hate Kobe Bryant's underbite or jersey bite? Did we hate Hoodie Mellow, Masked Kyrie, like the list, Untucked Kyrie, should I say, Gang Sign John Wall? Or nobody Michael, hates those players. Or Michael Jordan right? doing the... The, 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 the... Nobody hates those players, right? 
but they hate the guy that beat LeBron James a multitude of times. KD and all that. Sh- yeah, 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 yeah. But they hate a 6'3", light-skinned, light-eyed, sharpshooter. But they don't hate the guys that showboat all day, every day, and act like they walk on water. That's all I'm going to say.